Hello everybody, my name is Mark, I'm a student at NYU, and this video is a month of cognitive neuroscience at NYU. So I am currently double majoring in computer science and psychology. I'm taking four classes, writing the essay, which is going to be another video. Cognitive neuroscience, which is this video, computer systems organization, discrete mathematics. So I have cognitive neuroscience from 455 to 615 on Mondays and Wednesdays. And I have a recitation, which is from 8 a.m. to 9.15. Uh, and if you don't know what a recitation is, it's pretty much a smaller portion, usually one-fourth or one-fifth of the class, where you go over material with a TA. So I'm going to get really confused because I have to make multiple of these videos at the same time. But um, I just finished up my lecture, actually. And today we talked about addiction and drugs and stuff. Um, and so pretty much the premise of the class is not only the cognition side of things, so, you know, why we perceive what we perceive, how we think about things. <laughs> Hopefully my knowledge and explanation of that can grow. Uh, but also the neuroanatomy. So at what rate does a neuron fire? How does the reuptake uh, inhibition um, change this or that? We have three tests. That's quote unquote it. Then we have something called the Gaddafi, which is something I'm gonna make a dedicated part of this video. Um, but anyway, just finished up my first lecture, so whenever I do notes and stuff, you know, we have readings or chapters almost every night or for every lecture. I'll just record myself over time and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so it is Friday, um, no classes today, we have no classes Monday, not that that changes Cogneuro. Uh, I just had a bunch of reading to do this weekend, pretty much, catch up and advance. We talked about addiction and stuff last week. We have an exam after like the 12th lecture or something like that, so I should be fine, but yeah, just more reading. If you're doing psych, classes, major, whatever, there's, there's gonna be a lot of reading no matter what you do. Look at me, I got a haircut. Um, I can put that in all the videos. That's gonna. This is gonna be a clip in every single video, so it'll be very weird. I think I'll have a few of those. Anyway, uh, I realized that the the structure of these month videos needs to be redone because I can't record myself in classes, both because it's I feel like it's kind of rude, and at the same time, personally I can't. Yeah, so the structure might be a little different. I might just talk about it, record me doing some projects, and do some voiceovers. Um, and as as with all of these videos, we'll see how it goes when I edit it. Forty seconds left. Uh, Forty minutes left. Forty seconds left on the SD card. So pretty standard. We had another lecture. I'm just doing kind of a benchmark update. Uh, we have our midterm or not midterm first test in about two and a half weeks. We fell behind a little bit, so we have to cover fMRIs um, in great detail as opposed to studying perception, for example, which bums me out a little bit. Finally, starting to move on to perception, attention, and all that stuff that's cognitive, uh, and then looking at the neuroscience part of the. The Matrix was a documentary, which is why I'm offering that. Alright, go ahead. Yes? Um, are we able to correct your synesthesia then by like rewiring the neurons in there? Yes, so if you were like aware that you have this bias, then you can train your out of it. The uh, guy John Winner, he teaches perception you, and he had a paper showing that what numbers and what letters people associate what colors corresponds closely to a popular bridge magnet set that was popular here in the US uh, in the 80s and people's preferences are based on what they saw, what, what associations they made. Yet you can really train that by why do you want to? Yes. So we uh, were behind one lecture and then we had a snow day on the day of lectures for cognitive neuroscience. So we're two lectures behind, we finished perception two. Um, we had perception one and perception two. We finished perception two, I think. We technically haven't done attention one and attention two yet, and then we have hemispheric symmetry, so right and left side of the brain. I pointed the wrong sides of my brain, but I think that'll look right to you. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're behind. <laughs> but so far, all the stuff I already know more or less. Um, like, we spent a lot of time on neuron anatomy, that makes sense. Um, we did spend a lot of time on brain imaging, which I will be going over um, probably mostly Monday, Tuesday. I've been reading through the textbook pretty much, just chapters, feeling like I can absorb knowledge, and then I'm going through and looking at the lecture notes that are online, and, you know, making sure I have a really good understanding of the lecture notes from class. He posts, my professor posts the uh, PowerPoints online, which is fantastic, because you can preview them, preview them before the class, which I unfortunately stopped doing. 
but I found that, you know, I'll take notes on what he says that aren't necessarily on the slides or if something's like really important, I'll write it down so I know to go over it twice when I'm looking over the class notes in my own note. But uh, the exam is apparently 105 points out of 100. Uh, so there's 35 multiple choice questions, which I guess is kind of nice. Um, makes me a little nervous because I, I don't know, I'm pretty good at deducing with multiple choice and I feel like I could have a good handle on the psych material and then I'll have a better handle of it over the next few days. But uh, I don't know, it throws me off a little bit because I'm always used to open response questions in, uh, you know, in the humanities or uh, social science courses. Um, it's been a great class so far and I'm, I'm really bummed we didn't get to attention because I was very, you know, perception went a lot deeper than what I know. Um, there's no practice midterm online, but the TA did make um, um, an overview study guide, I guess. Uh, I'll have to go over the Qdafis, which actually I have not included yet in this video, so good to know. I'll do this week's and record it, um, co kind of my process uh, and how they're done. I have to write a note for myself because I'm definitely going to forget to do that. These videos are mostly wrapping up around midterms. But anyway, that's my second midterm after math, and then I have computer systems organization, and if you haven't checked out those videos, they'll be up before or after this video. And I highly encourage you to do so because it's cool to see all types of classes. Anyway, uh, without further ado, Moving on to some more studying and reading, and uh, then the midterm. All right, so it is Tuesday, March 12th. Um, psych midterm is tomorrow. Uh, my, I have read an essay, exercise due. I have to go over my essay with my professor tomorrow morning, and I have the Qadhafi due. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go study for that now. I'm gonna head to the lounge where it's you know, relatively somewhat busy, uh, and then you know just read, and, read in the textbook. Uh, I'm probably gonna skim it, because you know the textbook covers let's say it covers a hundred percent of the material uh lectures cover 60 percent of that textbook plus maybe an extra 10 percent um that's the best way i can analogize you know the usefulness of the textbook and stuff so i'll skim it when i see something we did done in class that's what i'll like start really reading if it's interesting i don't know it's I, it's like 200 pages of stuff to go over and i feel pretty good about everything perception we kind of rushed through because of the snow day and all that um but yeah, anyway, uh, without more rambling, I'll, you know, I'll go ahead and do that. So I've used the term Qadhafi a few times throughout this video, uh, and you're going, what are, what is it? Like, what, what the hell is Qadhafi? Anyway, that's what I'm answering right now. So, um, uh, the overarching idea of it is so, we're given a lot of research papers to read, and if you're doing psychology, you will be given a lot of research papers to read, and the Qadhafi is literally half a page to a page, single-spaced, of text that helps you remember what's important about the research paper. And it is pretty useful because when you have to go back and study for a test like I am uh, now, as opposed to going back and reading the research papers, which I guess the test won't be too emphasized on because we only have to do six out of like 15 or something. There's one every week. It's pretty much, anyway, it, so it's, yeah, it's, a, it's an abbreviated version of a research paper. So here I have um, the, one, the first one that I did. I haven't been too interested in them since this one. Um, I'm gonna do today is just to get one more out of the way, and if, even though it's the grill experiment, and I've read about that a million times. Pretty much, Qadhafi is Q D A F I, pretty self-explanatory, uh, which is where it gets its name. Um, and you can see how short it is. And this was a simple 10-point homework. It's I guess two for each one is my guess, or one for each one. And so here are each of the letters. So Q is what is the question the authors tried to answer. D, what did the authors do to answer the question? A, what was the author's rationale? F, what did the authors find? And I, what is the interpretation of these findings with regard to the initial question? I feel like Kadurfi would make more sense because the word authors is, I guess, where the A comes from, but that's irrelevant. Um, so it's, it's quite easy to do this, and I'm just gonna kind of go through. Um, Currently, it is gorillas in our midst sustained inattentional blindness for dynamic events. So first one is Q, and I'm looking for what question are, are the, 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 the researchers trying to answer. So how do objects and scenes that differ uh, from the overall environment play a role in inattention blindness? Um, so that's, that's a good rephrase, I think. I was, I was using too many synonyms in the first bit. Adults to... Um, survey a uh, a scene of people where two teams represented by black and white shirts were passing a basketball 
best. Want to make sure, kind of? Um, actually, you know what? I'm confident. All right, so now I just have to email this to my TA, and I'm good to go. Uh, and then I have to go back and study for the midterm tomorrow. Uh, friends are kind of in town from high school, so that's fun. Going to see a movie later. I, I think I'm going to be okay for this exam. Um, the textbook's really dense. And I'm going to go over the lecture notes probably later tonight, and then my own notes before the movie. Uh, and then I have time tomorrow, so I'm going to skim the textbook now. I'm going to read my own notes tonight and the lecture notes tonight slash tomorrow. Um, because it's, like I mentioned earlier, those lecture notes are um, specific in the sense that lecture notes cover, you know, specific parts of the textbook. Um, and I'll mention this earlier, and I'm just going to end on this note, how I said the lecture kind of covers 60% of the textbook or something like that. I don't know what the percentage that I use were, silly me. But if I'm just, I'm just going to flip over to here. So the textbook, you know, the textbook has quite a bit on it. Um, and there are things like neural oscillations or knowing the particular functions of ATP and how that's used, how it's returned, um, that weren't discussed in lecture. So those are the parts that kind of skim over. But anyway, I am going to go back and read that now. Time to get cracking. Um, and yeah, I hope you're enjoying so far and I hope that kind of cleared up what a Qdafi was. And maybe, and maybe you can use it on your own papers and stuff. Apparently my professor like came up with it and it's been adapted by many other professors. So hey, it's useful to come back to as opposed to rereading an entire paper if you need it. Uh, I feel like my memory is pretty good, but cute affies do help nonetheless. Alright, so it is 7.35 a.m. Wednesday morning, heading to the last, not last, rise station, right before the test. And I have written the essay and a meeting with my teacher about my essay, and then more reading and my cohort meeting, and then I have my midterm. I'm gonna go eat, get some tea, recitation, and then uh, just move on with the day. Just crank it out. And then see you studying after that with First a friend of mine. Cool. All right, it's 3.57 p.m. on Wednesday, T minus uh, 58 minutes until my psych midterm. Going through my class notes and stuff, you know, he posted lecture notes online. Um, I've been through those. The class notes are just things that he said that might come up. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this, but it's it's been really hitting me this past two days. It, the it's First of all, it's the first exam out of three. It's not really a midterm. Uh, it's just midterms week, so I keep saying that. But it's 35 multiple choice questions, and it's entirely open book. Textbook, notes, lecture notes, internet, Google. The only thing we can't do is share a document with each other. And I have no idea how this is going to work. I had my recitation this morning, and, you know, I kind of asked for TA, like, I feel good about the material. Uh, it feels like a lot of review from what I already know. Um... what are the questions gonna be like if you can't Google them? And she was like, you know, I'm looking at them right now and like, you can't Google some of these questions. So it just makes me wonder, like, they must be like, you know, word problems in math. Um, she gave the analogy that like word problems in math, but in psych sort of thing. So that makes sense. Um, but at the same time, it's just like, it's thrown me so off balance. <laughs> uh, so I have a good hold of the basics, I feel like. So hopefully I'll be okay. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go read through these notes. Bring them with me to the midterm and my laptop. I'm not gonna bring the textbook, that's pointless. Probably won't need the lecture notes. I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, on the other note though, finally declared my CS major officially and got this really cool pin for it. So it's mirrored in the camera, but yeah, that's cool. All right, so it's, it's 5.52. Uh, the class starts at 4.55. He said the exam started at five. We had, I ended up starting around 5 five ish um, the class ends at 6.15, so I don't know, I finished the questions, there were 35 multiple choices as I said earlier, uh, and I, I definitely get how it's, you know, um, how like you couldn't Google the answers because it'd be like, oh, in class when we discussed this, or pretend you made up a drug or something like that, um, but it, it was really straightforward stuff. Uh, at the end there were like five or six questions that were pertaining to the papers that we had to read for the Qdafis, but since we don't have to do each Qdafi, um, I wasn't sure, and then I went back to make sure on some of them. Like, one of them said, um, one of them described, one of them I had read, but it had this type of scan was this result, and this type of scan gave that result. And both of the results were correct, but one of the scans wasn't used, so I went back to make sure that the PET scan wasn't used in the document, and it wasn't. Um, so, straightforward there. 
One of them I hadn't even read, so I just, the, yeah, I probably got that one wrong because I just control F some terms in each of the options. There were five options. At the start, I got a lot of E's, D's, and C's in that, uh, in increasing at the start there, but I don't know. I, I think it was fine. I finished it early. I double checked the answers, looked four up on my computer. I didn't have to look at my notes once, which was fine. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think this video is more or less wrapped up, and I'll preview what's up to come, and then I'll wrap it up. All right, so now is as good as time as any, and this is gonna be super blurry. Um, look at the syllabus. We don't have a midterm. This was the first exam. The lighting's better, I'm gonna walk up over here. Um, we were supposed to cover attention one, attention two, and hemispheric asymmetry. So essentially, why we pay attention in our brains, what is the, fun the structure in our brain that makes us pay attention, uh, and then hemispheric asymmetry is like, hemispheres are not symmetrical in the sense that, you know, your right has the fusiform face area, uh, and your left is like the Veronica Broca's area stuff. Anyway, to wrap this up, um, we were supposed to cover so that stuff before this exam, but we didn't. Um, our second exam is meant to take place on April 4, 17th. So this is what it's looking like. Pretty much a, a, most of the materials obviously at the top. Um, and then we have memory, imagery, categorization, decision making, and motor control, which is what I'm, I'm much looking, I'm really looking forward to that. That's the stuff that really fascinates me actually at the end uh, and language emotion it just it just gets better and better <laughs> uh, this first semester was felt like a lot of review um, and I guess there's only so much you can cover in a class that covers things that have classes dedicated to them for example we covered perception in two classes it took three or three and a half lectures but there's a whole class on that but anyway I'm really looking forward to those exams just to wrap it up I guess that's cognitive neuroscience about a month and a half of it covering the first uh, trimester so to speak of it if you have any questions, as always, you can leave them in the comments below. Um, if, you know, I don't know if there will be a bunch, this video might not get much traction, but um, if people want to see like a follow-up video, maybe how finals goes, maybe I'll record finals week. I think I tried that last semester, but questions, I'll answer them. If there's you know specific things you want to see, I'll make a, you know, a video of everything uh, to follow up from this if that's what people want. Because my spread this semester has been great. English, psychology, math, and CS. Um, so, I don't know, it covers quite a bit. But anyway, that is all. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I do appreciate it. These, yeah, the, the making videos has been a little iffy lately. Uh, but anyway, before I ramble even more, uh, thank you again for watching. Have a good one, and as always, don't forget to stay awesome.